Well, how's she going today, tubes? So it's the uh, same day as uh, the other part of the video. Um, updating the PC and time to time to grind some ball, some nuts. So did some more grinding of nuts, and you wouldn't believe what nut I got through now. I'll show you here in a second. But I managed to cut this guy off now. Um, still very steaming hot. The damn thing was starting to smoke again, so I think something was... Well, it's been smoking the whole time, but... So this guy's got a new bolt in it. Same original washer. I think I might be able to use that washer that fell off. I've been kind of grinding into that, too. And the bolt over here... I got a pee pee so bad. This bolt here, which is an older one, but still more up to date, you know, or I could put a double wrench on her. Um, this is the same one that's been in there for I don't know how long. And uh, it still works. So I'm just going to keep it in there. I could replace it with a new one, but what I did was I uh, took, took it off. It was actually loose enough where I could just make a couple turns with the wrench and then do the rest by hand. So I stuck the, the, the bolt in here. Um, didn't have to do it, but I took my wire brush just to clean up the threads a little bit, just getting any gunk and stuff out of them. Clean them right up. And I put it back on. Still got this the original nut and everything too that was that was on that on that, on that bolt. So so in other words, guys, we can pretty much well take these wings off if we want to. And uh, just use the middle section. Um, I don't know how the tractor will, would do pulling this in the garden. I think the tractor would probably bog right down. But um, I just wanted to make a detachable too, just in case... Um, I do want it. well for tearing up my yard. I want just I just want the middle section. I don't want the I don't want the wings because it would be too hard on the tractor. Big Red could pull can pull these the, you know these triples here with, with ease, but that's four wheel drive. And big and the tractor is only two wheel drive, and I'm not even sure if he would be able to pull just the middle section. He probably could as long as he just use it to sculpt the top off like the grass sections, you know. And I noticed that this tooth there broke. It's actually chipped, so I think I'm going to take the grinder and I'm going to kind of grind the tip off. So maybe it won't chip it anymore. It's, it's originally supposed to look kind of like like an arrowhead. That one over doesn't have anymore. It chipped off. Um, I hear loud music, but I, it's not my sister because she wouldn't be coming now. Let's just be one of those bastards over there. But I mowed yesterday too. I ran over to the farm and I mowed. Some a little bit over there, the roadside and roadsides and stuff and stuff. So in other words, guys, um, I don't really know if I want to grind off these fucking these nuts on every color on the each son of a bitch. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to try to grind off the heads. I'm going to try to loosen them by hand first and see if they'll come off that way. But it did, see, on the other nut, it was on the other bolt, it was still full. So it took me a long time to grind through it. So on these guys, I'm going to try to grind through the heads. Because um, they're thinner than the bolts or the nuts. So that's what we're going to do for that. But that'll probably be later on. Um, I might want to buy another wheel. I don't know. This wheel looks okay. But, um, see, she's getting a little thin now. Well, she, I, th I think she was always that thickness, really, but, I don't know. But, um, I'm going to keep using it, I guess, until somebody tells me to stop using it, but, yeah. So, I'm just letting that stuff cool down, because I know it's still extremely hot yet, so, and everything has to kind of readjust now. So, in other words, we're... Oh geez, I gotta say we're probably fifty percent done, maybe a little more than that. Well, we still gotta do all 
No, I'll say about 40% because I still got to replace all the ones down in there. I don't know how the hell I would grind at them, but I guess I could grind at them in a way. No, I just might just grind the heads off. Grind all these out, and then grind all the te the ones for the for the teeth. But like I said, I'm going to try to maybe bust them free first. See where 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 that gets me. If that doesn't do me any good, then I'll grind the heads off. It took me way too long to grind through the nut, so I think it'd just be better just to grind through the uh, through the heads. You know, you know what I mean by the heads, right? Well, I'm sure you guys know what I mean. Through this, through this, you know, through the heads. I mean, if I grind it down to the squareness of that nut, or you know, the top part of the bolt, I could slip them out real easy. Um, just have to, you know, grind at them for a while. So, yeah. So we're pretty good, pretty close to being done. I gotta take this this wire thing here. It's been on there forever. I'm gonna take that off, get rid of it. Um, my shoe kind of keeps getting caught in it when I was grinding, and I'm afraid that if I have to drop, if I gotta run for some kind of emergency, I'm gonna be hung up on this. So, wouldn't be good. Well, in case the shop decides to fall down or something on me, I gotta be able to run to the floor of the exit. But, but nothing caught on fire. I'm surprised the plastic here hasn't, I don't know if the sparks were hitting it, but. I'm sure they're hitting them more over there. It isn't good either because that's got oil in it, but I got the tarp over it, so should be okay, but yeah. So I'm pretty I'm thinking I'm pretty well done for then then for today. I managed to grind through two nuts. Three, yeah, two nuts today. So I did pretty good. Um I still want to replace all those down there too. So I mean every one of these has to get replaced, even I think the ones for the skis. Probably should get replaced. I don't know. They look a little sad. I don't want to grind through them because I'm afraid if I if I grind through them. Well, I guess if they if I did, they would just fall right off. I gotta look underneath and see exactly how wore down they are. Um, like I said, I don't know how the hell they are. So, so these two here over there are going to be new ones, or three actually. That one's supposed about a year and a half old and then we still got one one original well not super original it's a little newer but still old newer newer than those guys you know the ones that I've grinded through already <clears throat> um, yeah I definitely didn't like grinding through the nut because it took me a long time so I mean I've probably been going out for about a good hour so well, maybe not quite that. I don't know. Half, either half an hour to an hour, anywhere around there. You guys can just ballpark it. You guys probably know what I mean because you guys probably have grinded through the same thing too. So, yeah, I think this old color could sure use a power washing too, like a power washer. I want to get me one of those too someday because the house. I want to use it on the house and got a lot of dirt and shit up on the house, and I can't get it off with the. Uh, with just the, uh, you know, broom, so power washing would be a little better for it. And as a power washer's cultivator, could any, I mean, see down in there, it's all full of dirt, and it would probably just fill right back up the, in the first year that I use it, but, you know, it's just to kind of shine them up a little bit. And then I ran the, uh, the wheel into this when I was wanted to stop because I didn't want to sit and wait for it to stop spinning so I just grinded it on there and then stopped it in a hell of a hurry so didn't do it mostly just did it on the nut afterwards you know when I wanted to stop because I didn't want to gnaw through this too much so but yeah so there's an update on the cultivator we're pretty much I mean we're pretty much all done with it we could just leave the, the ones for the teeth and just let them I guess go until they break which maybe I might just let them do that. I don't know, cause I don't really want to grind through every each and one of them. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if this is cool yet. Probably not. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It'll come out then. There we go. She's out. See, I even started uh, 
grinding into the bolt too, because I was really trying to gnaw her down good enough to uh, to use it. So there's the bolt. Let's take a look at the washer. And the washer, I think, still usable. See, I've grinded into this pretty good too. I can still reuse it. This will just will start rusting over again. Pretty lights. Look at that pretty design I got in that. I don't know if I want to put that on back on there. Look at that cool design. <laughs> yeah. I don't really have to put it back on. I could just put a new one on, but might as well still use the originals if there's nothing wrong with them. And the nut. I don't know what happened to the nut. It probably shattered into a million pieces. Well, here's a here's a chunk of it right here broke see because I hit it with the hammer. Um, and what the hell is this? I don't know what the hell that is? It's kind of a washer. But uh, mm. yeah, I had to hit it with the hammer because it was I didn't want to grind at it at it anymore. I must have just broken into a couple of pieces, but I only got the one. So. Yeah, the other one must have just shattered. Didn't hit the bearing. Oh, I kind of nicked the bearing there a little bit. Just a bit. So, yeah, we're pretty much well done then. Um, I can take her back out into the... Yeah, I see it broke there. When I, I hit it with the hammer. And then a couple hits and then it pops. So, yeah. I'm just slipping a new one, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, see, I think the next time I might try to grind through the head. Might be a little quicker. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we're pretty well done then for today. <clears throat> I don't plan on doing much of anything else. Um. Okay. So. There's another piece. There's something over here. I think that was part of a clothespin. Yeah. When you when I cultivated that new garden for the south, I started picking up a lot of junk. So here was part of that junk, part of a clothespin. At one time it was a clothespin, but then it shattered. So we'll throw that in the scrap pile. And uh, we'll grab ourselves a new bolt. i got to save me at least one, so then I can go back and get more. Um, so yeah. I'll start a fresh video here in a couple seconds. Um, so yeah, we'll ditch one washer because I don't need it because I can still use the original one. So yeah, so let's get over there. Alrighty, so welcome back. So, uh, time to slip in the new pin, or the bolt I mean. Now I'm, going, I'm looking at the one that I did over there. I put him in backwards I think, except that one over there. I'll leave it. Okay, so that fits in. We'll put our nicely direct decorated their uh, washer. Could have just grind the other side too, make it look nice. But nah, eh. we'll put the pretty side on this side. How about that? There. Oh, oh, oh. So might have to get get the. Uh, oh, it's all right. Oh, she won't go on for some reason. Might have dicked her, boys. Might have dicked her. I think so. Might have made that hole. Uh... Let me get this cell phone sitting. Uh... <sighs> Might have made the hole too small. All right, yeah, there we go, okay. But I want the pretty side on my side. Come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> you can You actually have to screw it on. I must have really fucked up that area there. Holy crap, you can't even tighten that right down. Well, there's, there's our nut. We don't even need to put a nut on, do we? Well, it'd be better just to be on the safe side. Actually, I don't want that tight. I want that loose. Like I said, I'm not going to put these on extremely tight because i got to be able to, to fold them. 
um, just in case I want to fold them, in case we got to put her in a compact area. Ugh. That's all I can get them for now, for hand tight for now, but. So there we go. It's going to piss rain a bit pretty quick here, too. This, they're saying, uh, they're saying rain. So there we go. New bolts in for the main part. Um, I guess we could probably call it quits for today. Oh, yeah, I got to grind this down, too. This one broke off, too. I'm just going to grind them so they're not quite such a sharpie point. Um, just in case somebody should work on them and they're stupid and they're wearing like sandals, you know, and you know, don't need that. So, yeah, grind them down a little bit. So maybe we will take her out and put her in the garden, make a couple of rounds with her. Um, well, it won't be, it won't be this month. It'll probably, well, either later, uh, late this month or next month. And then uh, call her a couple of times, call her quits for the season, put her back in the shop, and we'll uh, start grinding away at some other stuff. I don't know if I'm going to grind in the wintertime just because I don't know how that, I don't know how that thing would handle. Cause see, I bring it up into the house when I'm done with it because it's still new. So I bring it up into the house with me when I'm done. So it'll be at like normal, like normal temperatures or warm temperatures, and then you come out to a cold shop, it might be kind of hard on them. So I don't know. But uh, yeah, yeah, this must be part of the. That's part of them too. I just want another piece to that. Well, like I said, they probably shattered. I hit it pretty damn hard a couple times. So. But yeah, I'm not going to bother to. Uh, well, when I take the bolts out, I got to pound the. Uh, the. Uh, those little bearings in there. Because it's, like, it's like a steel bearing pipe thing, you know. Pound those out, leave them behind, and then just take the middle section when I want to use it. But for now, we'll leave it because I'm going to need the triple wings. Well, I call it triple because you got this wing, this is your middle wing, but you can't do anything with it, and then your outside wing. Well, this would be your main. Well, you know what I mean. There's there's triple parts to this, you know. Some people don't want to get the doubles or the or just the middle, I guess. There's actually a guy on YouTube, can't remember his video, but he's got one of these. It's, um, I think a tad bit different. I think he's got the, uh, oh shit. Um, can't remember what he had. I don't know if it was the double wing, like the double winger thingy, thing to do or what, I don't know. I never did add that video to my favorites, so I'd have to really... Google it, or YouTube it to find it, but, yeah, but yeah, he, he had something like this, he was pulling behind his ATV, too, so, but his ATV, I think, was a little smaller than mine, and I'm 70 horsepower, and it, I don't know who's driving by, Red Blazer, okay, so, yeah, Just wish I could find some teeth replacements, you know, for the ones that are broken. Should probably cultivate a lot better. Well, if you make a few rounds over it, it'll be fine. But yeah, I'm just afraid one of these days this son of a bitch is gonna quit. I'm never gonna be able to use her again. She'll just be too wore out. But see, I don't really don't want to use it much anymore. Well, I mean. When I get a tiller for the tractor, I probably won't really use this anymore. Probably just use it once at the beginning of the season to break the sod up, or the dirt, and then at the end of the season, or way before we put the gardens to bed, and that's when that's only twice a year I would be using it. So, it it, it would be fine. So, yeah. There's a bearing in that thing, too. Every one of them has a bearing, I think, pretty much. Well, 
Except these guys, I think. Yeah, these don't have bearings in them, I don't think. I don't see why they would need one, because they're just... They're just so they don't rotate. The only thing that's supposed to rotate is this, and this, and that, and then, you know, and then all those everywhere else. Those are, those are the only moving parts, and then the handle, of course, but... Ugh. So, yeah. But then, anyways, guys, that's... It's pretty much all it's in for today. I'm gonna call it quits. Lock my shop up. I think I'll just leave the grinder here. I think it'll be all right for tonight. And then, uh, I guess we'll continue to just BSing when we're uh, done. Um, there's not really too much left to do. I could probably go out, you know, and start cultivating, but I got nothing to cultivate, so. Yeah, mustache mode. I think I already told you guys that, but the neighbor here should mow again too. So uh, maybe he'll probably be mowing pretty soon. He's been gone for the past few days. I don't know where the hell he's been, but he's probably got a job somewhere else now. So uh, yeah, um, it's probably pretty much well lit then. I don't know what else I'm going to do. It's getting kind of late today. Um, not quite sure what time it is, but. Close, it must be close to 6 o'clock. I haven't heard the siren ringing yet, but... Unless it, it already has rang when, you know, when I was grinding, but... When you're grinding, you ain't going to be able to hear shit. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, i got to check this wing, too, and see if I can fold it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, with ease. Just tighten down that bolt, and then... Should be good. So I don't really think you're supposed to detach this. I think you're supposed to leave it all as one big piece. But you're supposed to be able to just fold the wings up for transport. But, but now nah, we don't need that. So, oh, and I, for, I forgot to tell you guys that I'm done priming, done painting. Um, well, I could put another coat on if I wanted to, but I don't feel like it anymore. And then I painted all this. I put on about three or four coats. So, just to stop any further, you know, rotting or anything. I might have to double up on the coat, like right here, some more. Put one more there, a thick coat. And then, uh, that's probably it then. But, uh, so the cultivator project is maybe 40, 50% done, 40%, somewhere around there. And then, uh. All we gotta do is just replace all the bolts, like in there, the teeth, and those little things down there. So we'll pull the teeth and send then in the little things down in there. Like I said, I ever this one over here has got two new ones, and then I got one new one and that guy there. So so we're pretty pretty much well done then. Um Seems all right, I guess. I can I can still fold them up. And if I want to pull this thing out, I'll just hook the chain on, and then I'll just right out. But then I'll have to manhandle it back in. But then I'm going to try to park the color in more so it's there. So at least one of the wings that would be a little easier to pull them on, pull her pull her in, and then uh, yeah. But in other words, pretty much what we're doing while we're done for today. I'm not going to do any more. I've done pretty good. I've managed to work two nuts off and grind the living shit out of them all. So. But I didn't think these guys would fit. I didn't, damn, bug it out of here. They're a little short. It could be a little little longer, but that's all right. I, th I think they're probably just perfect. Why don't you kind of crank them down a little bit? Um, but you don't want to crank them super tight either because... You have to be able to allow these things to flex a little bit when you're, especially if your garden garden is uneven like mine, like our north one. Um, when we make turns, this cultivator will go up onto the dike a little bit, so then that kind of goes like this. So then this one can stay level a little bit, and then this one can go uphill, just to allow, so you don't break your bolts all the shit, you know. 
and then uh, of course then to fold them up for transport. I don't know how you would transport it because it's on skis. Well, I mean, if you were to take it down the highway, it would sure freaking squeak, I bet. So, but yeah, she's fine. We don't need to do anything else to her. I mean, like, put wheels or anything on her. There's a cultivator on Northern Tools that's 48 inches wide. So I don't know if it's about the same as this. I doubt it, but it's a cultivator. Of course, more modern, but this is like a really old cultivator. But I sure do like it. it. It does pretty good. If you get the damn thing going up to about, well, I don't know what it is in miles per hour because I switched my my gauge over to RPM. So I'm doing about 4,500 RPMs when I'm pulling this thing. So that's maybe about five, six miles an hour, maybe a little faster than that. I don't know. But uh, when you make turns, this wing slows down. And this wing speeds up because of the, of the turn. So this son of a bitch is just flinging dirt all over the fucking place. But that, that's some damn good cultivating right there, so. But I've tried to pull it deeper, and she just won't do it. Big Red won't do it. I mean, if I add more front weight, maybe he'll dig in a little better. I don't know. We'll try it. Got 10 bags of sand there, so. Should be okay, but. Yeah, so. Uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to take off. I'm done for today. Um, see, when I push that, see how it kind of moves all the teeth. So. But I'm going to take off, so I guess have a good day and stuff and stuff. So, yeah. Just have a good day, Tubes. Thanks for watching.